This video is proudly sponsored by Moving Intelligence, the new name for Phantom. Hi everybody, hope you are well. Moving Intelligence has kindly sent me over a tracker for review, this little thing here. And although I could show you how easy it is to set up, install it and discuss how the thing works, I thought I'd share with you the differences between trackers and also dispel some of the myths to do with these little devices. Now, before I continue, I must mention that Moving Intelligence is the new name for Phantom Trackers, and my long-term subscribers will be well aware that I've been a very happy customer of theirs for many years. In fact, ever since we owned our very first caravan way back in 2014. Well, just to confirm that the great service does continue with all the Phantom products, the people, and all the services are still supported by Moving Intelligence. So let's have a closer look at this little device. The MI01 is a tiny, lightweight device that has GSM, RF and GPS connectivity built in. It doesn't require any external power and can last up to five years on its own internal battery. And as a self-contained unit, it also doesn't require any additional SIM card to work. This tracker is sold as a self-install and is incredibly easy to set up and get going. Before we activate and install it, I want to mention the main differences between this device and my current tracker in the caravan. The MI01 is known as a reactive system, opposed to my existing proactive tracker. Well, let's kick off by answering exactly that question and showing the differences between the reactive and proactive trackers. To understand the difference, we should just cover how they work. And because I'm not going to rip out or show you where the tracker is installed in this caravan, I'm going to use some very handy little props. I'm going to use this alarm clock as our alarm and this rather tasty tracker bar as you've guessed it, our tracker. So imagine the scenario. The caravan is locked and secure when the alarm is triggered either by motion or by movement in the caravan. The activation wakes up the tracker. It communicates back with Moving Intelligence Control Centre that the alarm has been activated. The team will look into the activation Look at information the tracker is sending, which can include its current position, the time, the vehicle battery level, and the reason why the alarm was first triggered. At that point, the control centre will start to call the owner on a list of predetermined phone numbers. They will also send out text messages and try their hardest to contact the owner as soon as possible that the alarm has been activated. All the while, they monitor the tracker with a stream of information coming from it. Once the owner has been notified, it's up to them to contact the police and pass on the details of the tracker activation to them. This process is known as a proactive service. And as a customer of Moving Intelligence, I pay a subscription for this per year. It also provides me some discount on my caravan insurance policy, but most importantly, it provides me peace of mind. On the other hand, a reactive tracker like this, MI01, is not activated with an alarm. It is classed as an after theft tracking system and it sits dormant until it's required. So here's our second scenario. Sadly, the caravan has been stolen. The owner has reported it stolen to the police and to moving intelligence. From here on, the tracker transmits a steady stream of information back to the control center, which is also available for the owner to view in the app on their phone, but more on the app in a minute. Now, although subtle, you can probably see the differences between the two systems. Proactive will automatically communicate with the control center, whereas a reactive system is reliant upon you contacting the control center yourself. There are of course features on the MI01 that can help in that initial contact. Indeed, using the app, we can lock the position of the device, meaning that in the event of the tracker detecting movement, it would let the owner know via text or push notification that something is happening. So that's a brief overview on what trackers do and how they work, but let's get on to installing this one here in the caravan. And as you can see, being so small, this little device can be installed anywhere. We can install it here in the caravan, we can install it into a motorhome, maybe a motorbike, maybe a tumble dryer. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's something that you love and cherish, and you can discreetly hide this, well you can install it and keep tracks on its locations. Now, I'm not going to show you where I'm going to install this, but here are the steps that we need to go through to fit this one here in my caravan. Firstly, we need to activate the tracker. With the arrows facing up, rotate it so they face down, and then back up again. Do this five times to wake up the MI01. 
then leave it to sit for 15 minutes to make initial contact with the moving intelligence servers. You should notice that the LEDs at the back of the device are now flashing. Whilst we're waiting, it's time to create an account. Scan the QR code or visit the website, fill in your details and confirm the account is working by responding to the confirmation email. After 15 minutes, it's time to activate the MI01. Click on Activate Device from the home screen of the website and add your activation code, which is enclosed in the packaging of the tracker. Once activated, choose the best package for you and the pricing model. Then download the My App from the App Store or Google Play Store. Log in and then you'll see your device location on the opening screen. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. The opening screen shows a map of the current location of the tracker, and I can change this to satellite view, which is handy in built up areas. As previously mentioned, I can lock the position of this device. I can do that if I click on the label above the tracker and slide the toggle to lock position. This is handy if your caravan is in storage or on a seasonal pitch and means that if any movement is detected, the owner will be notified by text or push notification that the device is moving. If I click on the three lines in the corner, I can switch between live view and history, which gives me a list of locations and times. I can also set up details about the object that the MI01 is protecting. In this case, I have the brand set to my caravan make and model, but I also have included the registration number that's on the back of our caravan. The colour sets the colour of the pin in the map view. I can change various settings in managed systems, such as how it communicates and how often it updates the moving intelligence servers. Along with viewing alarm notifications, I can also get support from moving intelligence and have a direct call with the emergency dispatch centre. One thing that all trackers here in the UK will mention is their Thatcham category. Category S7 covers the vast majority of trackers installed in leisure vehicles. What this means is that the device has to meet certain criteria, including its accuracy, features and performance. Thatcham S7 denotes that the device must be able to communicate via GSM and RF, it has GPS on board, an internal battery, reports if the battery has been disconnected, has a full European cover and is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The MI01 is certified as a Thatcham Category S7 device, which means that you could be entitled to a discount on your caravan or motorhome insurance. Contact your insurer though for more details. Now that accreditation brings me nicely onto the eBay special. If you've been looking for a tracker, you will no doubt have seen plenty of them available on eBay for just £30. And on the face of it, they offer the same thing. But this is one of those instances where you really do pay for what you get. The lack of accreditation will be the first red flag. Accuracy, features and reliability are perhaps the reason why they are not Thatcham approved. My advice is to steer clear of these. Your insurance company also will want to stay clear of them as well. It's worthwhile paying a little bit extra for something that is industry recognised. So there we go, an introduction to the new MI01 tracker, a brief overview of what the different trackers do, and a quick installation, without you seeing any installation of it. If you want more information about the MI01, the current price and details about what other services Moving Intelligence offer, please click on the link in the description below. A huge thank you to Moving Intelligence for sponsoring this video, it's very much appreciated. Now as a thank you, they've provided me a discount code for you to get 10% off your order when you buy an MI01 from their web shop. Simply add Trudge 10 at the checkout to apply your discount. Now this won't be around forever, so do hop online now if you want to find out more information. So that's it from me today. I hope that you've liked this video. Please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon, and if you can do all of that, then I'll see you in the next video. Many thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Bye bye.